welcome back to my very first episode of Project of the Week. Before we get started, please go down below, hit that subscription button and bell, so you know when I post a new video, premiere, or go live. In the series, what I'm going to do is a Project a Week, um, and this week's project, I'm calling Bunny Bunny. I, I don't know about how I came up with this concept, but... Uh, I'm going to show you how I made it. So, first off, what you need to do is think of your colors you want to use. Um, you can do this in any color you want. Um, this one is actually done in a mixture of a brown. I can't exactly tell you what colors they were. And glow in the dark. Today, I'm going to use a mixture of chocolate and suede. out to the thickness that you want. I use um, the Sculpey clay conditioning machine, but you can actually um, roll these out by hand yourself. And I'll, I'll show you an example of how to do that with the glow in the dark. Let me actually put a pair of gloves on because I don't want to get clay contamination. And I have all my tools ready to go. Um, when you first start making a project, you want to really set your, all your tools up first. So I have all my sculpting tools, texture tools, uh, everything I'm going to need. Um, you don't have to wear gloves, but I do because uh, a lot of times um, certain colors are highly pigmented. Um, I also keep baby wipes around to uh, cope with that as well. First off, I'll show you how to uh, roll out some clay if you don't have a pasta uh, machine. So you want to condition your clay, and the glow in the dark is really easy to condition because it's a really soft clay. So what you're going to do is roll it in a ball, and I kind of flatten it a little bit, and then I lay it down. Now I use um, just some chopsticks. You can take uh, playing cards and put an equal amount of playing cards on each side and get the same um, same scenario. Just so whatever you lay on each side of the clay is equal and even. And then I take my roller. This is an acrylic roller. Um, I take the ends because this is a hollow one. And then you're just going to roll. And then once you're, you hit whatever you're using as it's going to be an even, an even thickness of clay. Now I'm actually going to run this through my pasta machine um, because I want this in a certain thickness. Um, but like I say, if you don't have a pasta machine, this is how you do it.
way to do that. Uh, but just since this is just for the video, I'm giving you so much. Now this decision here is your choice of what colors you use. Um, now on this one, I made the feet the same color, uh, but when this one I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to actually make the feet a different color. Um, so that's where your choices come in of what colors you want to use.
Now there is another way you can cut out. So you can take a piece of saran wrap, it's just ordinary saran wrap, you can take a piece of saran wrap. I'm 
not pushing these down yet because I want to store them. Okay. 
mixtures of colors, you know. Arteza and um, Sculpey. So my uh, clay bakes around um, 275 um, and you'll bake about 20 minutes per quarter inch. So for these I usually bake them about 30 minutes um, at 275. And then 
actually you'll make these in um, the package instructions. And then after that, when they come out, um, you can add glaze, glaze on them if you want. Or you can just, um, the last there is, then you can actually add a pin back. If you want to turn it into a pin. Or a magnet if you'd like to turn it into a fridge magnet, which I'm probably going to be doing with these. Um, probably going to be making them into fridge magnets. And there's that one. Um, and then that's all. I mean, they're that easy to make. If you all like this video, uh, leave me a comment down below. Maybe with something you'd like to see me make. Um, also, like, share, subscribe, and uh, share this video out. Um, that way you'll know when I post a premiere or live stream or uh, another video. If you like this, I'll see you in the next one, guys.